all right guys welcome back to the technology stream um we will be back live in a few minutes um stay tuned i'm gonna put some music and i'll see you in a little bit that was the dog by the way <laughs> all right see you in a little bit
Welcome back. Thanks for your patience. Alright, music off. So the first song was my was by Lemino music. It's called Infinity. And then I followed up with some synthwave by White Bat Audio. And we're gonna put the credit in the description for the first song. So um mm -mm -mm. let me close a bunch of tabs my other browser perfect no mic check okay perfect mic is working all right guys let's do it technology stream Spotify expands in-house podcasts with two more shows on artists and creators. Seed funding for Remix. What app is Remix? I forgot. Um, Remix.run mm, It's going open source. Wow. What is, what is Remix? Is it analytics uh, router cell oh uh, maybe remix is the uh, the ui where you can write apps mm, no idea what remix is there's no clear about i have no idea what it does <laughs> YouTube beta. Okay, so maybe it's a either framework development framework or a hosting provider. Business with Wix e-commerce. Let's see. Oh, I don't Create know if I can show ads. For your brand. I don't know if I can show ads or whatever. If I get a copyright claim or something, I hope not. We skip. Are going to talk today about CDN caching, which we talked about before, but we're going to get a little bit more in depth okay. this time. Static compute that's happening locally. Maybe you're doing a build in the cloud somewhere, something like Gatsby Cloud. You're paying for that too. Um, but anyway, whenever there's compute happening, whether it's some server or it's your local machine, when you're building a static site, that costs money. Now you got a CDN over here and you upload everything to the CDN. Yeah. So what's really great about static site generation is now that all those documents are pre-rendered, they're pre-built, they're just static, they're just sitting there on a CDN waiting for somebody to come and visit your website to get one of those documents. So they make a request and the CDN doesn't have to do any work at all. It doesn't have to build the page, doesn't have to yeah. render anything. They can just send it right on back to the user and the user's super happy. So you're gonna see this emoji a few times. We'll call it the smiley emoji. Um, <clears throat> you get a smiley, the JavaScript that you build um, and your CSS ask cool. And, and, um, and mm. um, when the Max visited the about page, for like three months, 10 minutes. Oh, wow. So what I was thinking on this page was, you know, this, this, this home page, it's, it doesn't really oh, have- Oh, a remix demo. They have a, oh no, I closed. No. Perfect. I closed the uh, remix the run. There you go. Okay, let's go back to their GitHub and start their history. Okay, no, I don't see that example. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Arc Sandbox. Oh, docs, there you go. <clears throat> We're good enough to get you moving. 
Fix the tutorial. Key concepts, perfect. Get it from the remix dashboard by one. Your new website should be up. Congrats, you can uh, remix developer. Huh. Okay, so it's like no next JS. Huh. Yeah. <clears throat> Interesting. Cool. Um, number three the lies the five lies the five lies analysis what is the five lies analysis sketchy the five wise analysis is a popular root cause investigation technique with a simple premise that is asking why five times can yield the answer which is the root cause. While doing so could be a helpful exercise, blindly applying to the technique often leads to a suboptimal result. In this article, it explores some of its trade off with a functional story of an incident in production at Acme Corp. Hmm. Hmm. So, okay, so it goes on. Huh. Okay, let's take one example. Alice is an on-call engineer. Her official title is SRE, and her job involves a deep understanding of the service state based on the available metrics. She has a solid understanding of service health indicators and a good grasp of the monitoring infrastructure. When she started the investigation, she noticed that the application was overloaded due to high CPU usage. As recommended by the post-mortem template, she began the 5 wise analysis. So the 5 wise analysis, why were the user not able to open the website? Because it was overloaded. Why was it overloaded? Because the CPU went to 100%. Huh. Why did the GPU, CPU use a jump so high? Because we didn't notice earlier when it climbed to 90% and didn't fix the issue in time. Why did we not notice it? Because we were no alerts for the 90% CPU usage. And why there were no alerts? Because the alerts were removed two years ago after a migration to a new monitoring system. Cool. Okay, so it's digging five levels into something. The five wise analysis. This is pretty cool. I like this. So I'll leave this link into the description if you want to check it out adop approximate differentiable one pixel point rendering sounds fancy probably something about computer graphics <clears throat> number five sec approves bitcoin etf good i guess good because it means that uh it gets cryptocurrency more mainstream six adop Okay, same is the same as number four, if you notice. Number seven, the programmers, like the poets. <laughs> I like it. Let's see. <laughs> the programmers, like the poets, work only slightly removed from pure thought stuff. They build their castles in the air, from air creating by exertion of the imagination. Few media of creation are so flexible, so easy to polish and rework, so readily capable of realizing grand conceptual structures. Fred Brooks. Huh. I like this little quote. <clears throat> Why I like to code? Well, I mean, I don't... I don't care why 
you like to code so much why not give a more uh instead of just reading an article why do i say why i like to code i like to code because it's 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 a creative process it's a perfect um i think it's a perfect mix between art and science in a way that you need to use engineering concepts and numbers and measure things and apply the scientific method to reach some goals but you also have the freedom to do it in your own artistic way and your own uh, make your own decision a lot of times it's pretty cool well that was i tried to be poetic too <laughs> um but there's a million reasons why everybody likes to code and it's and it's either something coding is just something you love or you hate i don't believe there's something that just does it i just people just love it or hate it pretty much majority of cases nine amelie's good 10 the siege of gondor part one professional talk logistics okay 11 peopling the americas not out of japan 12 reimagining our pandemic problems with the mindset of an engineer mm -hmm. 13 family lawyer confirms by laundry and his parents camped out of florida man crazy case um all i want to say about about this case is uh to, to every viewer to every person who sees this is that if you have you seen yourself interested or like um how can i say um involved let's say quote unquote in this in this big case i um I want to make sure to tell you that there's also a lot of other missing person cases with many of which are also still active that definitely need uh, their word spread or some, some more attention so make sure guys that you don't only like pay your attention to the mainstream cases i'm not calling it mainstream to uh, downplay it it's it's obviously a very important major case but other than mainstream cases, remember there's also more, so make, make sure to, to give your attention, to spread the word and help if any way you can. 14. Let's move on. Lazy crane operators making 250k a year exacerbating port crisis. Truckers say. <laughs> 15. Italy reveals its new national airline. Let's see. <laughs> ITA Airways. Yeah. Uh. Hmm. After Alitalia. <laughs> Alitalia, Alitalia. Ay, ay, ay. Azzurri. Okay, so it recalls the... Um, t-shirt of our uh soccer team to our football team the azzurri <laughs> well does it really have these symbols though the, the, the symbols that are next to the flag they're a little bit eh. i mean they kind of want to imitate Rui Vuitton or something I would just prefer like plain blue or a gradient or a gradient instead of those tiny symbol a nice gradient with an abstract shape a blob will be pretty amazing anyways eight uh oh 16 what tasks these so-called 25 guns at giga berlin might be assigned with no idea what this is talking about um birth month effect and salary well it's somebody the tweets okay birth month effect and salary does the school cutoff date cause the disadvantage for children born in july and august <laughs> 
Monthly income. December. Nice. December. That was good. Yeah. Oh, January. Ooh. Six. Okay. June. Four. March is the worst, I guess. December. November, actually. Ooh. Between the end of December and the beginning of January. Yeah, exactly. Does it really drop like this from here to here? That's crazy. I don't know how, like, this data. Okay, yeah. Journal of Chinese Sociology. Okay, perfect. Yeah, so. <clears throat> Reverse engineering a thermal printer's Wi Fi setup commands. That's pretty cool. I want to jump into this. So let's see. This auto cutter thermal receipt printer. Okay. Features both Wi-Fi and USB connectivity, which I thought was really cool for the price. <laughs> Drivers and configuration only run on Windows. That wasn't a huge deal, as thermal printers generally use someone kind of standardized command set called ECS POS. So even if they all use the set of commands, which is called ESCPOS. There's no documentation to set up the Wi Fi connection other than um, Yeah, I mean they have to figure out like there's no documentation that explains the Wi Fi connection with the device. Okay, got it. Since booting into Windows every time, I want to manage the printer's network settings is an idea. I decided to reverse engineer the Wi-Fi configuration command. Bam. Okay. Oh wow. Mm-hmm. <laughs> So you configure the printer over the network, probably with a fixed IP address or something. Um, and then with Wireshark, Wireshark is a program that intercepts uh, internet packets or like any any kind of packets and communication packets on a um, on a particular you know protocol. And one of them is uh, Wi-Fi. Let's see. So a sniffed is a sniffing traffic is picking up traffic from the air from Wi-Fi. And you do that with Wireshark. Based on the traffic, I was able to come up with the following. Hmm. Sending IP address. Sending some mask. What the hell? There's no like oh mm. saying away. Yeah. I mean this is the sniffed data. Very interesting. Bucket contents for wire shock. That's so cool. Great article. Great technical article that shows you. Wow. Oh, that's so cool. And then you, and once you reverse engineer, you can make your own tool with whatever. And this guy made it just in a terminal. It's so cool. Love this article. Very technical. That shows something a pretty uh, niche. Very practical. Very cool. So I'll leave it. Reverse engineering. Printer. Very cool. 19. Star Wars oil paintings. <laughs> C++ smart pointer gotchas. Hmm. Pointers, pointers. 21. Slowing down. Yes. But what? Wait, 
22. Deeper than pixels. A reading list of video games. 23. Making floating bubbles in Svekil. Oh, Svelte plus Jekyll, which are both frameworks for building. Um, I think Jekyll is a static side generator. Svelte is a front end, like React. Front end framework. <clears throat> or maybe Svelte generates a static site as well. I'm not sure. <clears throat> And then once again, we have another news that says that SEC set to allow Bitcoin future ETFs. 25, Japanese Electric's VTOL company demo video. 26, mining the GitHub API to connect to your open source community. Hmm. Okay, let's see. Using Steam Pipes GitHub plugin to connect with your open source community. Hmm. Now let's look at open and close issue across these categories. Okay, how often are Steam Pipe plugins and mods updated? Oh, wow. This is standard date, plus from the thing to JSON object. That's cool. You can use Steam Pipes GitHub plugin to build compelling views of activity in your open source project. Mm. And you can use that information to showcase and connect with your contributors. Very cool. 27. <laughs> Yes, yeah, 27. The reemergence of styling software. Good. 28. SVD image compression in Python. Image compression is like you run an image to an algorithm, which in this case is called SVD, you know, and the file becomes tinier, more compact, occupies less space. 20. Nine. Apple takes down Quran app in China. Ooh. That's uh, every time religion is involved, it's you know very interesting, very interesting debate. Number thirty. LAPD declares ghost guns an epidemic, citing four hundred percent increase in seizures. Wow. Everybody's printing their own. Ah, everybody's printing their own. That's so crazy. Wow. Yeah, I mean, it just says that, you know, Sending away of weapons to a serial number no current purchaser on those streets create obvious dangers. Yeah, now they're gonna start cracking down. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. All right, guys. I think for tonight I'm gonna cut it. We just went through the you know the the, the newest, 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 freshest news of the night, and uh, that's it. I'm gonna uh, I don't know if I'm gonna stream tomorrow. Not sure, but we'll see. Uh, if not, in two days for sure. Again, thank you for watching. Thank you for everything. And I'll see you next time.